All right, let's take a look at the last part of this chapter, and these are respiratory disorders. So what we're first gonna look at are chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, so COPDs. These are, this is any disorder in which there is a long-term obstruction of airflow and substantial reduction in pulmonary ventilation. So the first is asthma. And this is an, uh, where an allergen triggers the release of inflammatory chemicals that cause bronchoconstriction. So your bronchioles are gonna get smaller, right? In some cases, this can actually lead to suffocation because those bronchioles can be constricted that much. Next is chronic bronchitis. This is a chronic infection of the bronchi. Uh, this is usually due to smoking. Here, the cilia are immobilized and reduced in number. And the goblet cells also enlarge in this and they're gonna produce excess mucus. And so they develop this chronic cough, right, that hack that uh, smokers have, and they produce sputum, which is mucus and cellular debris. And that's because the cilia are not present anymore, so they have to cough that stuff up now. And what can happen here is the bacteria can grow on that excess mucus that has accumulated. Uh, and then also smoking can incapacitate alveolar macrophages, which would help clean out those bacteria. So a lot of problems uh, associated there. The last uh, COPT, COPD I'm gonna mention is emphysema. And this is where the alveolar walls break down in the lungs and exhibit larger but fewer alveoli. This is looking at a normal lung slide. We see a lot of alveoli here. Uh, in, uh, oh, this is showing pneumonia. That's where you have water uh, fluid accumulation in there. Uh, but this is showing emphysema here. So if we go back to the first one here, a lot of cellular walls here. Everywhere where we see walls here is an area where we can have gas exchange. If you break down those walls, now you have less gas exchange occurring, all right? So there's less membrane for that gas exchange. Uh, also, the lungs become uh, uh, fibrous and less elastic, and the air passages can actually collapse during expiration. And so, you know, this is why you see people with really bad emphysema, they're carrying around oxygen with them because the oxygen levels in the ambient air isn't enough to get uh, enough oxygen into their body to meet their metabolic needs. All right, let's look at uh, lung cancers. Lung cancers cause more deaths than any other form of cancer. It is the number one killer of both males and females uh, in terms of cancer. And another thing about lung cancer is that it can metastasize quickly, it means it spreads to other tissues. There are three types here. There is squamous cell carcinoma. So this starts in the basal cells, the bronchial epithelium. Uh, and here, the pseudostratified psyllid columnar epithelial cells become stratified squamous epithelium. And what's gonna happen here is they're gonna invade underlying tissues. And this is gonna replace functional respiratory tissue with bleeding lesions. And I'm gonna tell you, of the types of lung cancer that you could get, this is the one that you want, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna cough up blood with this one. And why that is important is because by coughing up blood, it tells you that something is wrong. And so you can get to this one a little bit earlier than you can, especially to the last one. Next uh, is adenocarcinoma. This re originates in mucus glands of the laminal propia, which is connective tissue, and it can spread from there. The last one is the one you really don't want, and this is called small cell or oat cell carcinoma. This originates in the pulmonary bronchi and invades the mediastinum, which is a tissue essentially between the lungs and the heart. All right, so this one metastasizes quickly. And the problem with this is, is you're not gonna cough up blood. And it's gonna eventually, if left unchecked, uh, invade into uh, your vertebrae. All right, and so a lot of people get this kind complain about back problems, uh, and that's because the cancer has moved into the back. Uh, and so this one's a really bad one because by the time that people know that they have it, you're already at the third or fourth stage uh, in that, and so it's really hard to recover from. So, anyway, on that wonderful note, that ends chapter 23.